Have you ever met someone famous and embarrassed yourself? I have. Let's talk about that. Good morning, Chia Lincoln. It is Wednesday, January 12th, 2011. Amen to that. Coming up, details on a mythical gathering in North Carolina. That's a mythical beast gathering. Early February. Stay tuned for that. But first, it's time to share embarrassing moments. Hmm. Have you ever met someone famous yes. and embarrassed yourself? Now, we've, we've met a lot of famous people in our line of work. Well, but, of course. Um, We're entertainers, Link. But there's a... Uh, there's a particular incident that I'd like to share with you, and I'd also like for you to share in the comments any famous people you've met, especially if you've embarrassed yourself. Yeah, if it went well, we don't want to hear about it. <clears throat> now, uh, the reason why I'm telling this story is because there's a new show coming on television tonight, hosted by, it's actually, I guess, created by, is Paula Abdul's new dance show. But it's the same production company that is producing our pilot, and so we have been Throughout the last couple of months, we have been at this building in California on and off where this production company produced Reveille, producing all these big shows, so we might just run into a famous person any time. That's really the most, the, the best part about us being able to make a TV show is meeting other famous people in this building. Yeah, like we saw Jason Lee. We did, yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Didn't, didn't, didn't speak, speak to, him. to him. Didn't touch him. But yeah, but Paula I wasn't thinking about touching it. But Paula, she, she's got a big, a big show about dancing, right? right? So she live, had she, live to dance. Comes so she on had a, a big board meeting in there for her live to dance. Meeting. Well, we didn't know this, but I met her, and I'll tell you how it happened. Did, I, did you know that she was in the building? Somebody said Paula Abdul is in the building. It's like when Elvis leaves the building, when Paula Abdul comes in the building. Paula Abdul has entered the building. I just heard somebody say it, and I was like, "Well, that's that's interesting. Maybe right. I'll meet her." didn't but I did Link did. didn't turn out exactly how I hoped it would I did not hear the whispering I didn't know anything was happening I was just going to the bathroom well I was on my way to the bathroom I wasn't already in there I was walking to the bathroom walking around this corner and you kind of go to the the towards the front where there's like the meeting room and I guess this conference room where you know they were having this meeting about her show and as I come around the corner you know, I see Paula Abdul. And, you know, immediately you, you go into this mode, I'm seeing somebody famous. Mm. And it's like, I watch a lot of American Idol, so this is not just like, oh yeah, that's Paula Abdul, big, big, big you know, big deal. No, this, it's, it immediately in my soul was a big deal. <laughs> you know, it was like. I feel sorry for like, you. It's just like, my, my body temperature went up by like five degrees. That would have killed you. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, but I immediately, I decided I'm gonna play it cool. So I just kept walking. And I, as, as I turn the corner, I'm processing enough that it's like, you need to speak to her. You need to speak to her. She's famous. So by the time I actually got something out of my mouth that I was gonna speak to her, my hand was on the bathroom handle. And you, I said- You weren't communicating. Your hand was not communicating with your brain. Right, my hand was on the bathroom handle and I was opening the men's room door and she was, I was walking this way, she was walking that way. I turned the corner, grabbed the handle. Hey, Paula. That's what I said. <laughs> like, come in the bathroom, Paula. <laughs> no. Hey, Paula. And as I said it, she like, she wasn't looking at me. She didn't recognize me. But really? I, I could tell that by the way I said, hey, Paula, she thought that she should know me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so, and so she was like, she was like, hey, how are you doing today? And by the time she said, "Hey, how are you doing today?" and she's just she's just quintessential cute. I just I just love this woman. That's interesting. I am a huge fan of Paula Abdul. I'll I'll take note of that. I am I have taken two steps into the bathroom by the time she said and she said, "How are you doing today?" And I'm like, "Oh, Paula Abdul is talking to me." <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I'm thinking. So I like mm. I I slowly come back out of the bathroom. Mm. Knowing that it's inappropriate to have a conversation with a famous woman in a men's bathroom, in a men's restroom, or at least one of us being in the restroom with the door gaping open. Yeah. So I kind of come back out a little bit, and I'm like, I'm do doing good, and I, I lock eyes with her, and and I and I discover that she never stopped walking. 
yeah. and she was going into the break room. So I was like, oh. So then I went into the men's restroom. I went into the bathroom, and I was standing in the middle of the men's restroom, and I'm thinking. I, I'm just thinking. Yeah. Paula Abdul is in that break room. There's, I know there's only one way out, and it's the way that she came in. There's mm -hmm. no other exit. You're trapped. I, you got her trapped. I know she's in there. Yeah. What am I, stupid? Don't use the bathroom. Go out and go in the break room and talk to her. So that's what I do. Of course, all this happens really quick because I'm such a quick thinker. I come back out of the bathroom, go into the break room, and there she is. Still there. Standing. Eating something. No, just standing. She had just gotten in there, basically. Okay. And uh, there was a guy sitting down, and she was... It was like somebody working on her show, and she was like, it doesn't matter, just make me look good. You know, she was just kind of joking with the guy. Just, as long as it makes me look good, you know, she was joking. And I walk in, and I'm this close to her. That's uncomfortable. Well, it's a small break room. And she's talking to this guy here. Really, really small. And she turns and looks at me because I came into the break room. And she thinks she might know you, then she realizes she doesn't. And so she kind of nods, smiles. She's like, who is this guy? It's and then weird. She, then she walks out of the break room. I'm leaving. That's what you're saying. <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm left in the break room with the guy who works with her, still <clears> needing <throat> to use the bathroom. And she's just left thinking, that guy went in the bathroom, but he's either the quickest man I've ever heard of. He peed using, on the floor. <laughs> he must have peed on the floor. He just tinkled a little on the floor and came How out. How embarrassing. Well, you know, I, Paul, chances are Paula doesn't remember you and doesn't think about that. The but way, Paula, the way I'm, watching, that you do. I'm watching your show tonight. I don't like dancing at all. I'm actually a little averse to dancing, hmm. but I really like you, and I know that we have a connection now. So 8 p.m. tonight, CBS. We'll be watching. Link will be watching. It's gonna be. It's a date. Um, my famous person story doesn't take that long, so let me tell it quickly. Um, we were at the SB Awards 2007, 2008. I don't know. I got Shotgun sent us out there to do some interviews on the red carpet. Uh, they put us into a very, a place where like there was nobody. It's like all the the good interviewers were in this one spot, then all the like throwaway people like us were in this other spot, and the athletes basically could decide if they wanted to come over to you or not. You know, they could totally bypass you if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to get their attention, you had to yell at them, get them to lock eyes with you, kind of like Link did with Paula, <clears throat> and then they call them over and you engage in an interview with them, right? Yeah. So. I'm a sports fan. I don't know a lot about sports, and I definitely don't know a lot about sports personalities. Right. I don't watch it that much, especially NFL football. So, They're wearing helmets. You don't know exactly what they look well, like. They, but at the ESPYs, they don't have the helmets. They like have suits on. Which is stupid. Yeah, they should be in uniform. But at the ESPY Awards, they're in suits. So somebody says, Reggie Bush is coming. And this is like Reggie Bush's freshman year. I mean, <laughs> rookie year. And see, I don't know a lot about football. And uh, so I'm like, well, this is a, this is a primetime interview. I got to get this guy. Uh, on camera, so mm -hmm. it's the two of us. But I've got the microphone now. You've got the camera. Yeah. Or, I'm, I'm, so, yeah. so I'm like Reggie as he starts coming by. I'm like Reggie, 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 and you're like pointing <clears throat> at, at Reggie, Reggie. It's just like you're. You just started going nuts. Yeah, but he's getting closer and closer. I was like, guys, he won't even look at me. Reggie, <laughs> Reggie, and every, but everybody's kind of looking at me. All the other reporters are looking at me like, who? What is it? Why is this guy so? into Reggie. And first of all, they're thinking, there's got another look on their face, but I'm yeah, about to tell you. Who knows what that is. And that is, Reggie turns to me and says, man, I ain't Reggie. That's Reggie. <laughs> it was LaDainian Tomlinson. Oh, who is another? Another really good running back in the well NFL. Known. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, I don't wanna have to tell you that I'm not Reggie, that I'm LaDainian, but if you keep yelling Reggie, I got to stop you, man. You're embarrassing me. It's like in front of all these reporters. Ooh. Reggie, Reggie, I ain't Reggie, man. I'm Ladainian Tyson. Here's, here's the difference between your story and my story. My glasses are fogging up. I'm getting so hot just Ladain thinking about Ladainian it. Ladainian remembers my story because I embarrassed him but he in front of a lot of reporters. But he hates you for it. Okay, uh, we're getting we're running long this, this morning. We'll try to keep it short tomorrow. But quickly, I wanna tell you about the Mythical Beast Gathering before we check in with Chia Lincoln. Uh, we're gonna be at the Blue Sky Film Festival in Chapel Hill at the Lumina Theater on Saturday, Saturday otherwise known as Saturday. February 5th. February 5th, around three o'clock. We're gonna, in the 3.30 to five o'clock block is where we're gonna be. We're gonna show up, we're gonna show some of our work, we're gonna do a Q&A, and we're gonna make it to a mythical beast gathering. So if you feel like driving out to the Blue Sky Film Fest, details are below. We've got a link to the 
Facebook event where you can respond and RSVP. We wanna meet you, we don't do this a lot, we don't get out in the public because Link embarrasses himself with famous people very often. So do I, actually, now you've learned that. Come out and meet us on February 5th. This is- Reggie! Last chance. Reggie, I'm calling you! Let's check in with Chia Lincoln. Well, he's getting prettier every day. There's not a lot of green right on the very top, which concerns me, but we're not giving up on you. Don't give up on us. We'll be back tomorrow, and that's probably gonna be Thursday. Mm-hmm, yes. Definitely.